I might be stuck now. Coming to the back seats. Oh, I can't go into the back. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Come on, Mahindra Tar. Come on. Guys, behind me is a car that is, well, illegal to buy in Australia. And I'm surrounded by them because I'm at the Mahindra SUV proving track and we're in the off-road course, or should I say extreme off-road course, because this place has some ridiculous off-road obstacles. And I just drove this bad boy through it. And I got to say, it really impressed me. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, of course, you must be living under a rock. Wait a minute. You. Because this is the Mahindra Tar, literally one of the most popular vehicles, popular off-roaders or lifestyle vehicles in India. If you think it looks a bit familiar, well, you're probably thinking of the Jeep Wrangler because both of these cars are based off the World War II Willy, which of course the Jeep Wrangler is based off. Well, this is the Indian version and we got the UK version. So this one has the M Hawk 130, which is the diesel engine. And this diesel engine makes 97 kilowatt of power, 300 newton meters of torque. I've got it in the six speed manual variant here. Now in India, this is available for sale with two different model grades, the AX optional or the LX, which is the top spec, which is what this is. The LX is by far the most popular in the market. And in fact, we were speaking to one of the marketing managers at Mahindra and she said that one of her relatives had an order and the wait list was 72 months long. They also said, even if they could sell it in Australia, odds are you probably wouldn't be able to get one because the wait list is so long here in India that they just don't have any available. Now the range starts at just over a million rupees or 10 lakh here in India, which is equivalent to just under 20,000 Australian dollars. And 20,000 Australian dollars, you get an absolute crap load in terms of off-road kit. You have one of the most impressive departure and entry angles in the segment, as well as ramp breakover angle. So this spec, the 2.2 liter diesel with four wheel drive, of course, comes in at just under 1.7 million rupees or 17 lakh, which is the equivalent of 30,000 Australian dollars. Now you do also have the option for a mechanical locking diff. Otherwise you get a brake locking diff where all wheels are braked and as you'll see it is one of the most capable off-roaders on the road essentially in India at a budget price level. Now as we come inside you'll see it definitely has a very rugged design and you can actually option this with either the hard top or the soft top. Now this has the hard top which is removable and as you can see we have the six-speed manual gearbox in here. As you can see we don't have the optional seven inch touchscreen infotainment here but we do have the five inch and it comes with lots of options. So you can actually see we have our off-road menu here which shows you the slope of what you're on as well as your tilt and you can see the engine specs as well as if we head to on road you can see our power torque speed bearing the g-forces all of that good stuff we can also access facebook whatsapp and what looks like the old twitter logo so that's pretty cool coming back home you can see we have radio as well as car info and you can also connect your phone for android auto and apple carplay so this is absolutely packed with features as you can see up ahead we have a small digital display with our analog cluster a pretty rugged and nice looking steering wheel and the reason I'm rushing through is we don't have too much time with this car it is pretty exclusive here you can see this massive grab handle and what's really cool is every single Mahindra Tar built in India comes with this insignia which says made in India with pride so that's pretty cool and as you can see the interior is quite spacious it is very black and you do get like some rough cloth fabric seats so it's not like luxury leather but you don't really need that and at this price point honestly who cares you do have your window controls in the center just like an old holden pretty rugged design on the inside here you can see we have our climate controls nice physical buttons no uh no digital climate control here your connectivity two usb a ports auxiliary cable 12 volt socket we have our four wheel drive transfer case here our uh rotated manual gearbox there that's pretty cool and you get this very industrial looking speaker system so no bose sound system in here but like again who cares now coming to the back seats oh i can't go into the back <laughs> i thought this was the five door now because this is only the three door i can't directly oh this i don't know if you can see it's absolutely bucketing down we did come to india in the wet season what do you think of the mahindra tar uh, this is this is the extent of my experience with the Mahindra Tata. I just jumped in it to get out of the rain. Brilliant. So uh, that's Dan Gardner with his automobile expertise. <laughs> we're in the Mahindra Tar and we're about oh, to go on a the, seesaw. Use the brakes, leave the clutch. Uh, we'll we'll use uh, the okay, clutch. use the clutch. So I'm just on the clutch now. I'm just using the clutch to accelerate up here. I'm fully on the seesaw now and I'm just using the clutch to slowly edge forward. And I'm going a little bit forward, slowly, uh, slowly. Should I accelerate now? Oh, yeah. Now I'll accelerate slowly, slowly. I'm just a little bit on the accelerator, trying to ease the clutch. It's a new clutch to me, so. Stop, yeah. There yeah, we stop. go. Yeah, we got it. We're perfectly balanced. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> 
beautifully done in the Mahindra tar. So I'm, I'm amazed at the depth of the clutch. I can really just come off it basically and the car doesn't stall. Even in the low range transfer, it's a very, very easy clutch. It's cool that the Mahindra is also available in a six speed manual. It does have slightly less torque at only 300 Newton meters and the automatic gets 320 Newton meters. I'm sure you guys saw the footage before, but it was bucketing down about two minutes ago. But now it seems to have slowed down a little bit, but you can see the trail is a lot muddier than it was before. From here you just try... Just clutch only? Do, just leave the clutch, accept and brake. Just let it go. So don't clutch, just yeah. accelerator and brake. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm actually not even accelerating right now. I'm literally just feathering the clutch to allow the engine to roll the car forward slightly. So it's actually a lot easier than in, a, in an automatic because you're able to have that fine control over the clutch. And I'll be honest, I'm actually finding this a little bit easier than in the Scorpio N before. Maybe I've just leveled up in a short time. <laughs> And okay, that was a little bit on the accelerator. I'd see now why I'm not supposed to do that. I find that with these cars, the lighter the touch, the better they respond. And this car is just handling this section of track with ease. You can see how the torque is really available from very low on the rev band. That's thanks to that really nice and torquey diesel engine. The M Hawk that is so well known and famous. And this is really cool. Check this part out. I reckon my my back wheel lifted up fully there. And once again, I'm just not on the accelerator. I'm just using the clutch. So if you are an off-roader, I would 100% recommend the manual. It's so much easier to control than the automatic. It's just pulling itself through using just the clutch. This is mind blowing. This will be pretty deep. This will be pretty deep now. So we'll go into the water. Oh yeah, look at that. We are properly underwater right now. I reckon that was close to a meter and the Mahindra tar just sucks it up and goes, you know what, no worries, because I'm a cult icon and I can do whatever I please, just like me. <laughs> and just a bit on the accelerator and now I just let the clutch take over. In fact, I could probably just accelerate through this part. This is a pretty easy part for the Mahindra tar. And you can really see the difference in the trail compared to when we did it earlier. It's basically not even visible anymore. It's all water. So I believe we're coming back to train tracks, railway tracks. This is a good uh, test of suspension compliance and how the body remains composed as the weight distributes left and right. As you can see the tar in front of us, I'm just gonna be on the clutch, tiny bit on the accelerator, but I have to wait for the car in front of me. Now this is the challenging section coming up on the next corner. This is where I got kind of stuck in the XUV700. So we'll see, maybe I can take a better a better racing line around this corner. Uh, Cause I think I went a little bit too wide in the XUV700. Was that correct? I went too yeah, wide? Yeah. yeah. So Sahil, fill me in on the gossip. What just happened? <laughs> Already the track was, you know, too much of wheel spin and yeah, and you, you can see the weather outside. Yeah, it's so rainy. So now someone got stuck. Yeah, and also the track has been spoiled completely. Well, so we are completely stalled. 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 No, 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 no. Still going. You can't stall a Mahindra tar apparently. <laughs> yeah, push it, push it, push it. Push. Other car, you please coordinate and bring them up. Give them experience. I might be stuck now. Push it, push it, push it, and turn your wheels. It's completely bucketing outside. I think I might I think I might have just bogged us to be honest. This track is just ridiculous guys, especially with this amount of rain. I'm sure you can hear it. Here we go. Alright. That was pretty hairy that part. And now we're going across a log bridge. Leave, leave the clutch, completely leave the clutch. Leave the clutch? Yeah, leave the yeah. clutch and a little bit of accelerate. Yeah. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Mahindra Tar. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Gee whiz. Mahindra Tar, you are an absolute hero. You're my hero, frankly. Uh, we're going to go over the smaller articulations. See how the tar compares to the slow, Scorpio. Really slow. Okay, I'll use the clutch here. I'll accelerate and then clutch it. Come on, Tar. Oh, that's nice. It's like rocking a baby to sleep. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, jeez. You doing all right there, Sahil? Oh, yeah. God. We've almost made it. Just look at Don. <laughs> this is pure joy. Oh. All right, we never talk of this again. Now this is proper off-roading. 
I don't care what anyone says. I actually like it better when it's raining. It makes you really feel like you're out in the thick of it, in the middle of nowhere. And that's exactly what this car is meant for. Now, fun fact, Mahindra wanted to bring this into Australia, but Jeep blocked them because it looks too similar to the Jeep Wrangler. So unless Mahindra completely redesigns the tar, which would defeat the purpose of the car, they can't bring it into Australia. However, they are developing a five door variant that should come out sometime next year, 2024 in India. I'm gonna take it very slow. Just a little bit of accelerator and now clutch. Uh-oh. Ah, oh. so... <laughs> Wait, the whole... <laughs> the whole way I had the handbrake on. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. What an absolute rock crawler. Gee whiz. Now we're going to head down the stairs. Yeah. We're going to slowly descend. Yeah. Now we're jumping. Oh, boy. <laughs> that definitely hit the body a little bit. So you have to be a little bit more active on the brakes coming down. Who would have thought? It's unreal. Like, it's such a rough feeling, but I have to be so delicate with my feet. Otherwise, the car just reacts too violently and you don't get the reaction you want from the car. So you have to fight the urge to push the accelerator too hard in certain situations or push the brake too suddenly when every instinct is telling you to do so. And you gotta slow down almost too fast. Easily, easily, easily. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Lovely. These guys look like they're having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very easy clutch, very easy gearbox. Do many people drive manual in India? Yeah. Most yeah. People. Most I mean, people? Except those in the cities. Yeah. Like Bangalore. Maybe. Yeah. Almost no one drives manual in Australia. <laughs> almost no one. <laughs> I would say maybe five, ten percent less. <laughs> but to be honest, we love manual. Yeah, I love it too. <laughs> Especially if you have a sports car. Yeah. It's great. All right, so final thoughts on the Mahindra Tar. I don't really have any. We can't buy them in Australia anyway. Mahindra doesn't really have any plans and they can't confirm if they're bringing it to Australia. I reckon if they did, it'd be a pretty popular off-road SUV and maybe they should think about redesigning it slightly for the Australian market so that they uh, don't run into problems with Jeep Wrangler. But anyway, that's all from me from Chennai, India. Hope you enjoyed and uh, ciao for now.